Good morning. We are still constructing equations of, uh, of lines, of linear equations. And we have done it already uh, while we are looking at a line. Uh, but now we are going to have a look at how can we construct an equation of a line when we are only given two coordinates. For instance, they give me the coordinates of A and B, 2, 3 for A and 4, 7 for B. And they're asking me now, what does the equation look like of the line going through these two points? Okay, and as you know by now, the general equation of a line, and we call that the gradient intercept form, looks like y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and y is the, sorry, the c is the y-intercept. But that was perhaps um, not as challenging when you were looking at the graph, eh? you can easily spot the y-intercept, but now we have to uh, do it more in a mathematical way, if you like. Yeah? But it doesn't make it more difficult, it just makes it more interesting. Yeah? Let's have a look. Because, well, let, let, let's sketch, let's sketch, okay? So let's make a sketch, uh, y, x, a is 2, 3, uh, 2, 3, so that will be a, and b is uh, at 4, 7, so, well, roughly here, yeah? So the line going through a and b looks roughly like this. Now, what can I already say about that line? that it's going up and what that does that make my gradient positive okay so when I'm giving two coordinates let me write down always y equals mx plus c to start with and I'm first going to calculate my gradient so that's the coefficient of my x n and in previous videos I've shown you how to calculate the gradient when given two coordinates yeah where we've said that the gradient is the difference in the y direction, and I say delta y because I hate to write down the difference in the y direction. Delta is the Greek symbol, and we use it to, to say difference, difference in the y direction, divided by the difference in the x direction. Now, what is the difference in the y direction? It's four, sorry, not four, silly me, it's seven, difference minus 3, we're looking at the y coordinates now, over 4 minus 2. 7 minus 3 is 4 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. The gradient is 2. Now, let me quickly check that, yeah, because that's all fantastic, but I'm, I'm a little bit nervous I'm going to make a silly mistake. Yeah, but that's why I check myself, something wrong with that. Let's have a look. Uh, let me draw this triangle. Yeah, that's, that's a horrible line, but anyway, yeah, that's the right angle triangle. Now, what is my horizontal movement? It goes from 2 to 4. How many steps is that from 2 to 4? Yeah, those are two steps, yeah. And in two steps, how many steps does he go up? He goes from three to seven. So in two steps, he goes four up. That means that in one step, he goes two up. Yeah, so the gradient is two. Yeah, so I'm right. And it's positive two. Yeah, one step to the right, two up. The gradient is two. Fantastic. So I'm going to take a new sheet. And um, y equals mx plus c. But the gradient now is 2. So I can swap the m for 2x plus c. So I'm one step closer to my answer. Yeah? But the only thing now I have to do is to find out where does it cut the y-x. Now I, I can't see that here. This is a sketch. This is a sketch. Yeah? When they give me the graph, I can visually see the y-intercept where it cuts or intersects the y-x. Yeah? But this is a sketch. I can't do it like that. So. Does that make it impossible? No, of course not. Because they give me two points in, and we are going to pick one of those points, and we're going to substitute that in this equation, the y and the x, and we'll find the y-intercept. I'm going to show you how, it doesn't matter. So choose a point, it doesn't matter. Choose the easiest one. And so if this one would be with negative signs, I would pick this one, okay? Uh, but in this case, they look equally as difficult or easy. They're both positive. I'm just going for a, two, three. Okay, so a, two, three. Let me write that down here. 
that is the coordinate I pick. I'm going to substitute that now in this equation. So y, what is y? If I look at point A, what is the y coordinate? Well, that is 3. You're absolutely right. 2 times, what is my x coordinate of point A? 2, well done, plus c. Okay, so now I see I have an equation and one unknown, c, so I can solve that. 3 equals 4 plus c, and then to find c, yeah, I gotta get rid of this positive 4, but that's only equal if I take 4 away on that side as well. So c, uh, positive c, equals 3 minus 4 minus 1. So I found c now. So my final step, y equals 2x plus c, and c is minus 1, so 2x minus 1. And that's my final answer. That is the equation of the line going through points A and points B. And I'd just like to show you that, so the y-intercept is minus 1. And if I look at my sketch, so that was a horrible sketch, isn't it? Because I am, I am, this implicates as if it's a positive y-intercept, but it's not, it's minus 1. Now, and if you are not sure if this is correct, let's take point B and see if that gives me the same y-intercept. So we had y equals 2x plus c. Now, instead of substituting point A, we're going to substitute point B in the equation to find c. So what is y? y is 7 equals 2 times x. And for b, that is 4 plus c. 7 equals 8 plus c. And you already see that. You already are saying now, ah, it's the same. Yes, because 7 minus 8 is minus 1. So also, if I would have substituted, if I would have picked point B, I would have gotten the equation y equals the gradient x and then the y-intercept minus 1. All right, that's the equation of the line going through the points A and B. So to summarize that, write down the general equation, the gradient-intercept form, eh? y equals mx plus c. You find the gradient, yeah, you calculate that. Eh? Finding means calculate. Delta y over delta x, the difference in the y direction divided by the difference in the x direction. 7 minus 3, 4 minus 2. So that's 4 over 2, the gradient is 2. So I plug a 2 here. Let me write that down just for you now. So it's 2x plus c. I gotta find that c by substituting one of these two points in that equation. And I always take the easier looking point, well, they're equally as difficult or easy, if you like, yeah. so I, I pick point A uh, the first time. And so 2x plus c, so 3 equals 2 times x plus c, 3 equals 2 times 2 is 4 plus c, rearrange that, uh, isolate c, well, that's a one-step equation. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So the general equation, or not the general, the equation describing this line, y equals 2x minus 1. Isn't that fantastic? I'm going to give you more examples in the next videos. All the best.